Welcome back to my second video for this channel. I'm going to be going over another product for you guys. And this product, you're going to be able to zoom in with your glasses. How is that? You want a closer look, but the naked eye can only see so much. Squinting doesn't help, and binoculars are big, bulky, and expensive. Introducing Zoomies, the compact, hands-free, high-power binoculars you wear like sunglasses. Zoomies gives you instant 300% magnification that brings everything up. Now, I don't know what it is, but every time I get a product from Amazon, it does not look like the product that says it is. Now, one of the a couple of the products that I'm getting are shipped and fulfilled by Amazon, where others are shipped and fulfilled by sellers on Amazon. So I can kind of give and take on that. It's not an issue. It's just when you go through and you see some of the other people that have some of these products in some of the other videos, their packaging is completely different. Again, here is my packaging for the Zoomies. Uh, is what they're called for make sure it makes has, gla has glasses as as binoculars you don't have to worry about um, wearing binoculars they are the weirdest looking thing on the face of the planet and again some more instructions here uh, the instructions always make me laugh now one of the other things I do want to mention is when you google zoomies you have to be careful. You can't just Google Zoomies and go through and try to figure out what you're going to get and you're going to get these. No, it doesn't work that way. You get the Zoomies for dogs, uh, you get Zoomies the store, um, and then maybe, maybe, but all my search results have been of for the store and the dog. So uh, these are the most ridiculous looking things I've ever seen. Read instructions before use. Instruction manual is located at the bottom of package. Well, it's kind of more in the package because, um, yeah, I don't know why, but they keep sending me all the stuff that is not in the original packaging that it is or it's supposed to be. Okay, so fo focus dial. The instructions make me laugh. There's not a lot on these instructions. It says to use the instructions at the point and go through. Well, we're going to go ahead and ignore them. Unfortunately, I have to take my glasses off and look through these. Oh my, these are really blurry. Okay, so now you're supposed to... Hold up. These things are... Okay, so here's the weird thing about these. One side lifts the other side. Do you see that? So if you don't do it the same time, you are going to get a terrible result, to be honest with you. Okay, so let's go ahead and wind all these back down and try it one more time. I have a very large head holy crap okay now it said these are three three hundred percent or three hundred times the normal viewing i i keep getting these so wrong there we go okay i mean they work they're, they're not the greatest viewing angle but in the infomercial it says it's supposed to take over a $200 pair of binoculars I, I don't see that I really do not see that a, a regular pair of binoculars a when you put these on you have a lot of space here that you see your vision is I mean, you get, it's like this, it's so small and in that end result, it, you get some, I mean, I'm getting some glare from the lighting, but maybe if I was outside, 
per se. I don't really know. But I am getting some pretty terrible glare. Now, these are supposed to help for... There we go. I had the sunshades on. Oh, well, maybe that's a little bit better. But still, I am looking at my curtain for my sliding glass door, which is about 10 feet away. And these are max. And that's how I have to get that clear. Now, I don't know. They're not too terrible. They're not that, um, they could be better, I think. But, uh, eh, maybe, uh, maybe so. We'll give it a try on some of the other stuff that we have. Now, one of the things that it states that it's able to do in the infomercial is, itself is to read small print or fine print. Now, I don't I really have a book in my apartment at the moment that has real small print or fine print. But what I do have is a crappy TV quick start guide. So I can kind of go through this and, and use the binoculars to see if it actually works. Now, I, as you notice, I do wear glasses. I don't really need to wear glasses for reading. I can actually read this without having these on. I actually need my glasses more for artificial light uh, and light in general, uh, kind of like the studio lighting. It does after a time over over a period of time hurt my eyes. So, be honest with you, I can actually go through and, uh, pr and read this without this. So I'm gonna try it with on with these on, and see if oh my, it's all the way. Okay, so let's go all the way down to bottom. Holy crap! It's still blurry. Now these are all at the bottom. I'll lay this down. They are going all the way. Okay, these are all the way, all the way to the end that you can scroll as much as possible. And I still can't read that. Even if I go through and I adjust it, I still cannot read that. Now, it said this is 300 times magnification. Maybe it's because it's so much magnification. This word, these words on here aren't really going to do any justification in showing this off. Now, I do want to go out and see how these work in a more natural setting. So I will be doing that. Um, to see where they kind of lie at that point. But as for words go, they're, they're, they're not that great. It doesn't really work uh, for words in general. Now, maybe if I set it farther away, because that's what it seems like it's able to do. If it's far away, then it's able to read them. Okay. Now, these are all the way 100% magnification. After adjusting just a little bit, I can read it, but it kind of feels like I'm at the eye doctor. And they ask you, can you read this now? What about now? And now? And I'm gonna say no, because these do not work really with any words per se, or, or, or a book. So I don't know how you can use these. Um, in, in a book setting or, or reading setting. As for it also states that you can use a thread and needle, um, that's gonna be kind of hard as well because if this is 300 magnification, getting anything near these without, I mean, just, just looking at the table itself. Now, on your phone, you can actually put it you know, your phone up to your finger and see everything. You can see your fingerprint, you can see all the definition, everything of your finger itself. I'm gonna try to do that with a little bit of these, but I don't think it's going to work. It's a little, I don't know, maybe I'm not using them all right, but it doesn't seem like in that setting that it would work. The 
polar setting the the for the sun itself uh, is pretty neat um, it says you can use it as sunglasses uh, yeah I mean sure it works but like the polar setting works but the magnification is not all that great plus when you have these on you look like the most fashionable person ever ever like I can do some glamour shots for these bad boys look up look around oh yeah but they're putting it pretty much lightly they're ugly very very ugly um, yeah there are a couple things about this product that I would like to mention first is that the build quality is not that bad the lenses are very clear the glasses feel sturdy on your face and that they give you a cool sunshade for those sunny days even though these are a cheap pair of binoculars they state they can compare to a $200 pair of binoculars which I find false all in all you can buy a pair of $23 binoculars on Amazon for better results. You can adjust the focus with one hand, even though you have to use two hands to hold it. I would rather spend the money on a good pair of binoculars, a cheap pair of reading glasses if you need them for reading, and leave these on the store shelf. Again, thank you for watching. And if you'd like to buy any of the products that I spoke about in this video, the link is in the description. Make sure you click that subscribe button to keep you in the loop for the next video. Take care.